<laughs> All right, YouTube, I'm back, and uh, here's the update. It looks like a thousand times better. Um, that's the new steering wheel that I put in here. It looks more original, like the old steering wheel that came in the car. <clears throat> and this is the new HDX dash. Um, I'm going to fire it up so you guys can see how it looks. And uh, I'll show you some of the cool little things that it can do. Um, it actually can be controlled with your uh, cell phone. There's like an app that you can download, a Dakota digital app that can control the dash. And uh, it's really cool. Like all this new technology, new technology that they have coming out for the old cars is amazing. But um, let me go ahead and turn the dash on just so you guys can see it. And I'll show you some of the uh, some of the little things you can do with it. It's pretty cool. And that's how it looks when it first fires up. I don't know if you can really tell in this video, but it's it's red right now with white needles. For some reason on the camera, it kind of looks orange, but in person, it's red. It's red with uh, the white needles. It's got this little display area right here. But um, it looks awesome. Like at night, it looks crazy. But uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the things that you can, uh, some of the little options that it has with the phone. Let me turn my Bluetooth on my phone right quick. All right, I have the dash in uh, setup mode. And you can see with my phone right here, the phone now recognizes the uh, dash. And I just click on that. And it brings up some of the different little options that you have right here. Like for instance, um, the cars are running. So some of those things, the oil pressure and speedometer and tag, they aren't on because the car is off. But I'll crank it up at the end of the video so you guys can see that. But uh. Just gonna just show you. Let me see. I'm gonna play around with some of the different lighting options that they have. And it's got several like preset colors. They come on the dash right here, and you can just pick like several different options. It's pretty cool. But um, I actually have it on fire and ice right now. But I'll just flip through these so you guys can see what it does. Let's see if I can get both of them right here. See, you just pick it on your phone, and then the dash it, it turns colors. It's amazing. It's like one of the coolest things that I've ever put <clears throat> on my car. But let me see. Let me go back. I'm gonna just flip through them. But it's fully customizable. Like if you don't like the preset colors, there's actually options for you to like go in and pick different colors, like whatever you want, which whatever you're looking for. I kind of like that one right there. Yeah, I'm still just flipping through some of the colors. But this is one of my personal favorite ones. The uh, fire and ice, the red gauges with white needles. But it's like, you know, totally customizable. So you can do whatever you want. Play around with it. But I'm going to put it back on the, the one I had it saved on originally. But yeah, it has the uh, original turn signals. So, you know, it's got like the old school feel, just updated. And uh, I think it has an indicator for the bright lights.
but it's uh it's pretty cool it's pretty dope I like the way it turned out it's to me it's way better than the old dash that I had in here and you can also check your real-time gauges on your phone with the app It's pretty neat. But uh, once it gets a little bit dark outside, I'll go ahead and uh, pull, the, pull the car out and uh, drive around right quick just so you guys can see it in motion. You'll see the dash in motion, see how it's looking. But the steering wheel and the dash, they both, they, they came out great. I like the way they look. Gives more of that like old school original look to it, just updated. 